Hello everybody and welcome back to the Oki Gamers with your two hosts, the QB Kid and Riptide. How's it going? It's going great. Now we have to deal with these brutes. Oh, yeah, he's uh he immediately shocked you. He immediately shocked us. So now what you're gonna see a lot in these levels is electricity. Oh. So this guy has like a battery pack with like a rod that he can shoot electricity out of. You'll also find little um Guys, if you will, inside of, they remind me of those Star Wars, like, oh no! Oh, that's not there. good. Oh. Oh. Sorry, guys. Were you, were you going to say an ATST? Say that again? An ATST? What's that? Uh, in the, in Star Wars. Oh yeah, that's what I think it is. Okay. It looks like at least to me. Okay, yeah. You, they must be charged because they're metal. Yes. Yeah, I can see, I can see that as an ATSC, just a short S ATSC. Yeah. Yeah. I don't watch any Star Wars stuff, so I don't know what they're actually, like what uh, the whole thing is. Okay. I've seen the new Star Wars, and I think that's it. I might have seen an older Star Wars. I don't know. I just didn't enjoy it as much as Star Trek growing up, so I just didn't watch it. Oh, okay. I guess I can understand that. Uh, Star Wars and Star Trek are two different genres. Well, uh, they're actually a good two different uh, series to compare, like, science fiction versus science fantasy. Mm -hmm. Would you say science fiction is Star Wars and science fantasy? Or no, wait. It's reversed. Science fantasy. Science fantasy would be Star, Star Wars. Wars. And science fiction would be Star Trek, yes. right? Because yes. um, Star Trek has that, like, like actual, this could be us. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's, uh, this could be us. This is, uh, kind of, uh, like... Uh, more about, like, living in this spot than, mm -hmm. like... Uh, like an overarching, uh, like opera kind mm -hmm. of thing, which Star Wars is. It yes. Yeah, I think Star Wars would be a bomb opera. Oh yeah, we well, should do it. It's uh, it's classified as a space opera. Really? Yeah. I did not know that. Yeah. Um. So you're the Star Trek person. Mm -hmm. I'm the Star Wars person. Mm -hmm. So with our cap with our powers combined, we summon the greatest nerd of all time. Watch out, Spyro. The Norks in these with parts Clyde? The I wasn't looking at the screen. Yes. Yes. Really Good. stings. Really stings. <laughs> Electricity stings. I get it. Aces, great pun, guys. They got the good puns here in this game. Now you'll see that this guy isn't affected by his electricity. That what? Why mm -hmm. not? I think that their like their feet are literally like if you look at them, it almost looks like they're wearing a type of shoe with rubber. Mm -hmm. mm, yes, I see that. Careful not to fall off again. Right. <laughs> you got close. I was a little scared. But yeah. Okay. Okay. So, um, question. Mm -hmm. Firefly and Serenity. Oh, love it. Good. Oh, no. That was a require. You had to watch that before entering my house. Okay. Yeah. So we are in agreement with that. Oh, definitely. No, that's, yeah, not even a question. I feel like it's a good bridge and a good mixture between... Both? Yeah, both <laughs> Star Wars and Star Trek. Because yeah. you have the day-to-day -day living and grind and stuff mm -hmm. of, like... This How does like everything a, work? Yeah, this is what it's like on a spaceship. Yeah. But and also, then, rebels. Yeah, and all of the exciting, like, high-flying action scenes. Yeah. Anara was, like, my favorite character. Oh. And what sucks is that I know that she died. What? Like, you know, like, I don't remember what, where I was reading it, but, like... I think Josh Whedon was talking about how Anara actually had, like, a terminal illness. Oh. Mm -hmm. Isn't that sucky? Yeah. Because she was my favorite character. Like, I just loved how much poise she had. I loved just how she had this air about her of, like, extreme royalty. And she definitely was not, necessarily. Yeah. And 
yeah, I don't know. She was one of my favorites. I also really liked, um, oh my god. <sighs> People are going to kill me and be like, Rachel, why don't you know the name of this card? It's the mechanic. Uh, now that you're spacing it on it, I am K... too. Cassidy? No. Kaylee? Kaylee, that's yeah. it. I yeah. also really liked Kaylee because she was very independent and did what she wanted. Yep. Yeah. Like, I love that the reason why um, she was hired is, like, essentially she was, like, having sex with the guy yeah. who was the actual, like... Um, who was the mechanic. And yeah. And was like, you know what? You're not so good at your job. And he Jeez. was like, I'll, I'll hire you instead. Yep. No, that's good. Yeah. Honestly, I have trouble thinking about anybody, like any character that I'm not a fan of on mm-hmm. that show or on the ship. I didn't like Jane. I can see that. Sometimes, like, normally I would agree, but I also like playing the dumb group. In role-playing games, Mm. in tabletop role-playing games, it's a lot of fun. So, um, I just felt a lot of connection, Mm. like, as a when role-playing and stuff like that. Well, I'm glad that someone liked him. (laughs) I don't like him. I think he exhibits a lot of, like, what I would want changed in the world, and it's a lot of that, like, quote-unquote locker room talk that I'm not, like, a huge fan of. Yeah, no. Neither am I. Oh my goodness, there's so many enemies down yeah. here! Yeah. So much sad. But I really on. like those little guys in the metal suits. I think they're the, my favorite thing, like, my favorite thing to charge, because they just kind of, like, explode into shrapnel. And I think that's kind of fun. I think especially as a kid, too, you, like, feel very accomplished. Like, I did this. When you, uh, when you, uh, shatter people to a million pieces. Exactly. Gosh, so violent. Yeah, it's so good. <laughs> we have to be really careful here, because it goes right off into that green sludge. Yep. We, uh, we know what happens when you do that. Yeah. But we're over halfway in terms of gold. Oh, that's good. Or gems. Yeah. That's good. Let's get that dragon. Or not, or yes, or... Cyprin! Good job, Spyro. Ooh. Oh. One day you'll be able to tell all uh, the dragons thank you. about your amazing adventure. Sure. I want to get out of this swamp. I really want to, like, have someone tell the stories of my amazing ventures, but lounging. Like, yes. every time Spyro is spoken of, you must have a good cocktail and some cheese and, like, finger foods while they explain my tale. Oh, I thought you were uh, mentioning of if anyone wanna, was telling the tale of Riptide. Like, they'd be like, have you heard the latest of the Riptide <laughs> on the OK Gamers? I love it. Mm, it's a good story. <laughs> mm. Um, that was actually quite a good swooping, swooping fire, if you will. Yeah. Um, you will notice though that there were a lot of gems up high. So essentially, you grab this whirlwind and it takes you up top here, and then you can fly over to that low edge over there and start to clean up the rest of the game. Oh. That makes a lot of sense, actually. Mm-hmm. Are you gonna get that guy? Mm-hmm. I will at the end. Oh. There's a lot to still do. There's a lot of enemies in this game that are just really close together, and then once you get through all of them, it's just going back and cleaning up, like, so many gems. Because you notice I was only about at, let's say, like, 250. Yeah. When I hit this point, you'll watch that I'm going to fly all the way around this edge to that far corner over there on the left mm-hmm. and just get more gems. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I did not even know that this was up here. Yeah. Like, we still have about, what, 150 gems to grab. They're all here. What? And you can see a lot of them are one. So there's quite a few gems just to, like, pick up. Dang, I am so glad that you're playing this and not me. Otherwise, we would be missing all these gems. 
There's also a lot of rockets, which I kind of enjoy. Yeah, they go fast in the air and they make explosions. I mean, who doesn't like explosions? Right. So we're going to go over here to that edge over there since we do need to fly to grab those. Mm-hmm. Just swoop on over. Nice. And we just rack them up. Yep. And then we have these to grab over here. Yeesh. And, and then now we... we just increased our load by a hundred. Yeah. Jeez. Now we're just sweeping to make sure that I grabbed all the ones from over here. I think you might have like missed some blue oh. poo poo foo foo. At the chest. end. Yes, near yeah. the end, yes. And then there's also some over here that I know I didn't grab that I'll be grabbing in a second. Sometimes when I go through, I just focus on the tops and then I go around and I'll do this at the end. Right. Yeah. Because it's like it's easier to just focus on the enemies. Oh, that was close. <laughs> yeah. I hate these. I hate flying. See, like, I swear to God I'm flying over them right, and I'm still not getting them. Right. If it was more precise, like, controls and everything, then those would be a lot cooler. Yeah. Because, honestly, I love those. They're fun. Yeah. It's like a little game. A game within a game. It's a gameception. Gameception. Boom. Oh my guess. Speaking of, what's his face, Chris Nolan. Mm -hmm. Um, but not actually Chris Nolan because it's Hans Zimmer. Uh, have you seen the one video where uh someone's doing like the light up control thing with the piano? Like it comes down the screen. And they hit it at the right time, kind of like a rhythm game. No. But it's for the piano. No. They, they did that with the Interstellar uh, theme. Holy and it's crap. so tantalizing to watch. Boom! Just watching someone's fingers majestically caress the keyboard. I love it. So good. I have to show you it after this. That sounds pretty amazing. Because that soundtrack, that, that there would be a good soundtrack. It's true. And 400 out of 400. Let's go home. Dang, that's so good. That is so good. And we got all the dragons. Mm -hmm. All five dragons. There were five dragons in that one, right? No. Oh. There were two. Oh. <laughs> you are correct. You sure showed me. Well, let's, uh, let's go on to the next place then. Aw, poor chicken. Eh, it's just fodder. Boo wasn't doing nothing. But you have to think of them, I think they're like magically changed to be that shape. Like, they're, it's not necessarily real. So you're putting them out of their misery. Yes. Oh, Misty Bog. Are we going to Misty Bog? <sighs> Unfortunately. Uh, can we just complete the game without going there? No. Do you sure? Yes. Oh. Okay. Um, Missy Bog would probably be my second least favorite level. Oh, lovely. Um, if only because it's long. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of flying around over bogs. Right. And it's really easy to like miss something and then die because they start taking your fodder away. I love that lovely. he just caught that chicken though. I mean, made it pretty easy for you. Yeah. Nice. Grab these gems. Now, I believe this level is also 400. Right. Well, before we uh, go on to that, we should uh, call it a day. All right. And we'll see you all in the Misty Bog, here on the Yoka Gamers, with your two hosts, the QB Kid and Riptide. See you later, everyone.